All right, today we're going to go over the Sham skin action set. I'm running an 8-bit image, so I'm going to run up here to the skin fix 18 or 8-bit. Click on that. We're going to go to our gray layer that opens up in this folder. I'm going to go over to my healing brush. I want to make sure current layer is set. We do not want it set to current and below. We want to make sure it's current layer. Um, we want to make sure the brush hardness is as hard as it can get 100%. My spacing is set to 1 and the size will vary depending on how big of a brush I need. And I'll click. We're going to go through here. I'm not going to go through this whole image. We'll do a, pa or a pause and come back to the after I finish with this one. So, but this is going to give you the the gist of uh, how this whole layer action works. All right, we'll take a pause and come back. Now we got all the skin uh, imperfections all fixed out. We can flatten this image out. We'll go next to the dodge fix. We'll open up our folder here. We'll go to the black and white layer um, and double click on it. This is where um, we change the image to black and white so we can see the imperfections a lot easier. Um, in color, your eyes can be kind of fooled where the uh, this red adjusting the opacity of this red layer can give you the really bad spots in the skin from sun damage or um, blemishes that are not uh, hill crested up. Um, we'll go down to our gray layer. We'll go to our brush, make sure their uh, colors are set to default. We're going to start with the white. I usually run my opacity around 5 to 4 and I set my mode to luminosity. Um, if I go over here to the brush um, brush palette here I want to make sure that um, my spacing is set to as low as it'll go. Um, size will always vary, um, but this I want as wide as spread as I can get from my brush, so I make sure that it's set down really low. Right, I'll adjust the size here. This is a time-consuming. Um, as well, but the results, the end results are so much better. A lot of people use the clone tool or the dodge and burn tool down here and I, I find that it gives you these funky colors and don't get me wrong, each tool has its own purpose. So sometimes I will come in and use the dodge and burn tool, but um, I find it easier to go this route first and then certain imperfections I know I can fix with the dodge and burn tool I'll use it for that. Alright and uh, again like I said this is time consuming um, I'm not going to go over the whole skin and we'll do a pause and come back this is basically this showing you how this action works, where you need to be, what your settings should be. Um, and like I said, the end results after you dodge and burn, it's just going to be so much nicer than if you went in there and clone tooled it out. The pores are going to be more realistic. You're not going to have Barbie skin. You're not going to have blended pores. Um, the pores are always going to be exactly where what pores are supposed to be in that section of the face because Every face has different pore settings. Um, the forehead is completely different than the cheek. The cheek is completely different than the chin. The nose is completely different than, you know, and, and et cetera, et cetera. Where um, when you do this dodge and burn, you're, you're keeping all the original pores. You're just um, lightening up the uh, deeper pores so it uh, looks more cohesive. 
All right, so we'll come back to this in a few seconds. All right, once we got all the dodge and burn done to the skin, it looks really good. We're going to come up here and we're going to turn off our black and white layer. You can just kind of see it's it's got the sh little bit of shadows. It's got what it needs to be. Um, the skin is, the lighting makes the lighting all smooth and equal. So we'll come in here and flatten it now. Once that's done, we're going to go up here to skin texture. What's this is going to give it um, a little more depth to the pores. I mean, it's not a lot, but it gives you that extra punch to the pore so it makes it look more realistic when you're looking at a print that's 20 by 30 um, the pores are going to really stand out I know when you shrink the image for a web image to like 90 pixels it can look Barbie-ish looking but um, all my prints at full resolution are just um, crazy um, skin texture I mean it's sharp and that's what you want in your images um, I get a lot of people asking well how do you do your skin I don't do any smoothing on my skin I don't do anything I, I all I do is add more texture and more sharpness and more contrast to it to make the skin really really pop and then when I shrink it down to a web image that's when it gets this Barbie look and I really don't like how it comes out for the web as opposed to the full-size image but I mean there's pros and cons to everything um, so now we explained why we add the the bumping of the texture we'll come in here and we'll flatten this we'll make a duplicate by dragging it down here and then we'll go back over here to um, sharpen so we'll add a sharpen layer to it and then just this just really really pops that and you can change your opacity to where it looks where you want it to be right now I'm gonna leave it for the web I'm just gonna leave it really really sharp and uh, that's it you can come in here and flatten your image save it out and you're ready to go thank you for watching and you have a good day